In this video, we're going to be looking at the Terrain tool inside the Crowd Shelf set. The first thing we're going to do is change the timeline to 1000 frames and enable real-time playback. Click on Apply, close the window, and now we'll hit the D key to change the viewport background color to black so that we can better see our crowd guys. Hit the D key to close the window, and now we're going to put down an agent, control and left mouse button click on the mocap biped icon, and there's our biped guy. By default, he's set to walk. Let's make him do a zombie lurch instead. And let's deselect him. Now we're going to click on populate, select the polygon plane, and we're going to use that as a base from which our zombies will populate. Hit the enter key, and then select our mocap zombie dude and press the enter key again. So, Houdini has generated some crowd node networks for us. Let's take a look at the selected crowd source node. If we scroll down, we'll find that the default state is set to stand. Now remember that we want to have a zombie lurch, and the animation option we picked was zombie, so let's type zombie. And we can put there a few more zombie guys, let's say 100, and we'll go to the simulate tool, which will generate the necessary geometry and simulation networks to make our zombie agents lurch about. Let's take a look at that network. And we're going to look at the walk state node. Notice that the state name is set by default to walk. If we hit the up arrow key to play it back, you'll see that our agents are staying in place. That's because our crowd's state name should say zombie, because of the name of the animation clip we picked at the beginning. Play it again now, and you'll see that we've got our zombie lurch happening. But they're all walking as though on an invisible ground. Go back to the first frame, and we'll go back up to object level, hit the U key, and we're gonna hit the L key to organize our nodes, Turn off visibility on the mocap biped node, and turn on visibility for their ground. We're going to make these guys walk up a slope. Hit the up arrow key to play it back. You can see that our guys are disappearing into the terrain. Stop it and go back to frame 1. Click on the terrain tool, select the ground node, and hit the enter key. And before we hit play, let's crank up the number of zombie agents. Hit the U key and double click on the crowdsource node. Let's put there 500. Now press Ctrl and V keys to expand the perspective window. And let's play it back. So you can see that all the agents automatically adjust to the terrain surface and you can easily adjust the amount of agents according to your needs. So that's the terrain tool for crowds inside Houdini.